Okay, suppose you're me, and you're in your studio, and you just made the opposite of a dodecahedron. What would you have? Well, over here, we have a shape that has these uh, sort of three rhombic prisms that go through each other. And in fact, if you took the intersection of the three, there'd actually be a dodecahedron in there, but that's a different story. What we want to do is take this shape, and notice how it would fit inside of that shape. This is sort of the opposite of that. And this one opens up, and I can turn it into blocks, into kind of a cube. And what's the inside shape? Well, the inside is a dodecahedron, a regular dodecahedron, 12 pentagons. So we could uh, fill this up with chocolate, let it cool, and have a nice chocolate dodecahedron. That would be fun. And what's this other shape? Well, it's the opposite of that. So it's everything that that isn't. So if we turn that inside out, we don't have a dodecahedron. So it must be that if we turn this inside out, we do have a dodecahedron. So if we take this shape and flop it around, there in fact we do have our dodecahedron, 12 regular pentagons, three at each vertex. And this shape should now fit inside of there. So if we take this and kind of open it up a bit and take this and kind of open it, uh, not that way, maybe, but this way. Then we should have something here that fits inside of there. And together, we can make a cube with a dodecahedron inside it. Or, if we're lucky, we can make a cube with our three rhombic prisms inside of it. Nice dodecahedron. Thanks for the compliment.